Hello? Hey, Ronald? Yeah? It's it's Steve Dave from Two Green. We accidentally treated your lawn over the weekend. I'm just calling to apologize. Sorry about that. Oh, you you treated it over the weekend? Yeah, well, we didn't treat it exactly. We we injected a bunch of seeds into the lawn. Oh, okay, because I didn't see any flags up or anything. Oh, no, we wouldn't do that, not for just the seeds, because there's no chemicals. Yeah, we, we just uh, we did the front and the back and the sides. We injected seeds into every bit of your lawn. Oh, okay. For dandelions. Oh, okay, because I, I did start seeing some of those pop up. Oh, the dandelions? Yeah, I mean, not not just since uh, I guess you treated it. Mm-hmm. You, you treated it when? Uh, that would have been over the weekend. I think the truck came out even, either on Saturday or Sunday. But you're going to have thousands okay. of dandelions. We, we planted just thousands of them all over the lawn. You what? We planted thousands of dandelions in your lawn. Dandelion? Yeah, the yellow ones. You planted them? Yeah, it's it's like a new thing. They're kind of making a comeback. People are doing their whole lawns and just dandelions now. And your neighbor was getting that done, but we got the wrong address, so we accidentally did yours. So sorry about that. We won't charge you, though. So I'm going to see a bunch of dandelions in my yard now? Yeah, probably more dandelions than grass. Okay, well, we need to fix that. Oh, no, no, it, that that is fixed when you think about it, because uh, dandelions are better for for your lawn than grass is. It's better for the earth in general. They use up less water. And they have... And they're yellow all over the lawn. Yeah, yeah, it'll look better than the green. It's like little yellow dots all over the... But th- this is going to be more like just a yellow blob. It's going to be nothing but yellow with a little bit of green. I don't want that. That's not what I want. Well, I you, want all solid green. Well, have you ever tried having just dandelions out there before? I don't want to try it. Well, you don't know if you don't want it if you haven't experienced it yet. Like, if you just give it another... I don't like yellow dandelions, period. Sir. That's why I spray my lawn when I see one pop up. I want a nice, completely green lawn. Okay, well, don't... I go out to guys. I go to other areas. And I see their lawns. I don't see a dandelion yard. I don't want that. I want it all green. Okay. Well, if you'll just give it a couple more weeks, you're going to see what it looks like. It's going to look amazing. It's going to look. I'm re- telling you, I don't care what it looks like. I don't want it. I want them killed right now. But, if you planted them, kill them before they come up. But you won't have to spray anymore because you'll just have dandelions and no grass. The dandelions will overtake the grass. Are you? Not, are you let me ask you something. Are you not hearing me? No, I hear I you. Not, it, just, it sounds like... Okay, I don't want dandelions. I don't care how nice it looks, whether I have to spray anymore, whether I have to do anything. I do not want dandelions in my yard. What about the little bumblebees? They love dandelions. I don't care about them. We'll see that. Listen to what I'm saying. Get rid of them. I want them gone. I don't want them coming up. If Sir, they come up out here, I'm going to sue you. No, you can't sue us just over dandelions. It's... It, I can sue you because you came out here without my permission and you put dandelions in my yard. Yeah, but I explained I explained that it was just an accident. We just got the wrong address. Okay, fix it you, then. You know they're not weeds though, right? They're they're from the same family as sunflowers. Fix it. I don't want them. You don't like sunflowers? No, I don't I don't want dandelions. I don't want sunflowers. I want solid green grass the last time i'm telling you this you sound like that guy from the sam i am story you know the green eggs and am i i do not want well i dandelion. don't care who i sound like don't compare me to anybody else okay well, you call me tell me you planted dandelions i want it fixed i want it done get rid of them i don't want them the green part of the dandelion you can actually eat it for vitamin k and vitamin a they're, they're a money saver. You're still trying to talk me into it. I'm not going to be talked into it. Well, I want them killed. I don't want dandelions in my yard. Sir, at, period. This, at this point, you don't have much choice. I already planted them, so they're going to show up. Well, then you better get something out here to kill them real quick. You better bring out the strongest stuff you have to, cure, to kill dandelions. Well, then your lawn's just going to be dirt. 
it better not be because then I will definitely take you to court. Oh, so you're I'm just... taking pictures right now. I'm going to take pictures right now. When these come up, I'll take more pictures if they do. And then uh, if it turns to dirt, I'm going to take more pictures. Then we'll see each other in court. We'll see what so happens there. You're being a little racist, to be honest. No, I'm not. If I came out there and planted a bunch of weeds or whatever you call it. They're not weeds. If I come out and planted a bunch of stuff in your lawn that you didn't want, you wouldn't be happy. And I'm not happy right now. Okay, but no, I'm just saying you're being a little racist about the whole thing. Racist, okay? I'm not saying anything about racist. Oh, no, no. It's just, just because the name dandelion is taken from the French word dent de lion, which meaning the lion's tooth, you know, because of the... Listen, the I, don't need a, I don't need a lecture here. I'm telling you, I don't want them in my yard. But they're pretty. You better, get out here. you better get out here and take care of it. If I start seeing a bunch of these pop up in my yard... Oh, you will. You're not going to be real happy with it. Oh, boy. It. There, there's Neither gonna be, will your company. There's going to be thousands upon thousands of them. Can I just call you back in a week and see if you've changed your mind? I'm not changing my mind. Don't you get it? I'm telling you right now, I don't like them. You don't like them? I'm not them. changing my mind. You don't like them on a I'm train? I'm you right now. You do not like them in the rain. You will not have dandelions in your yard. I'm trying to think up a, a rhyme for that. I don't need <laughs> rhymes. I don't need your stories. I don't need history. I don't need that. I'm just telling you point blank. Get out here and get rid of them but what, if you plan it. What if they just got Period. carried into your lawn from uh, from up to five miles away from its origin? Because, as you know, dandelion seeds can fly up to five miles from their origin through the wind and just land in your yard. That wouldn't be our fault. No, but I've had my yard treated. I'm taking a picture right now. And since I've talked to you, I hit the record buddy, uh, button on shit. my phone. And so this has been recorded, too, Can so I, that you're telling me that you planted all these in my yard. I recorded so also as I well. Suggest, I suggest you get out here and you make this right and get rid of those. If you don't, then we're going to have a big problem. What if we just apply a layer of green spray paint over the dandelion so it looks like grass? Are you a true green Yes, of course. Do you work with, are you an employee of True Green? Oh, uh, well, I'm more like an independent contractor. But, okay, but I need your name and number. It's, it's like being an Avon lady. Basically, anyone can say they're an Avon lady. They just okay. got to get a, some equipment and some... some, some okay, s- what is your seed, name? Seed shooters. Uh, my name is Steve Dave. Steve what? Correct. So look, Steve, uh, what? So should I just call you back in a couple weeks and see if you've changed your mind then? I'm not. No, what is your last name? Yeah, but you might. Like, you haven't seen it yet. Like, g- get on the internet. I won't change my mind. Just, just get on the internet. Quit and... asking me to change my mind. I'm not going to. Period. Did you know that if you mow the dandelions, that's just going to make more of them? What's your last name? Gersperms. No, it's it's Dave. Steve Dave. Dave? Days. Steve Nurseberm. Nurseberm. Okay. Hyphen Dave. I, I did a hyphenated name when I got married. Okay. What is your phone number? It is on your caller ID. It's the 317 number. So, anyway, I'm, I'm very oh, sorry. Steve, and- I... I tell you what, you better figure out a way to fix this because if I start getting dandelions in my yard, you guys, it's going to be hell to pay. Oh, don't be like that. Don't be like that. You know, just don't tell me how to be. You don't know me and I'm not telling you how to be and you're not telling me how to be. I own a business myself and if I make a mistake, I fix it. I don't try and talk the customer into it. Take it. You know, you'll like it. See how you like it. None of that. Crap. Do you make a lot I'm of not mistakes? It. I'm not taking it. Do you make okay? A, do you make either, a, either you fix it, either you fix it, or you will wish you had. Oh, I, I don't respond well to threats, sir. I'm sorry. I, I just, 
At this point, I feel okay, I'm well, going to have to hang up. I've been trying to be nice to you, and you keep trying to tell me try it, and you'll like it. You're this harassing me. I, I, I've been honest right up front and to the point. I don't want them. I didn't ask for them. I want it fixed. I don't want them here. You should Do ask, your job. Get rid of it. You should ask a friend for their opinion on your new dandelion lawn. I'm not going to ask a friend for my opinion. You don't understand. Well, the, I'm the guy. I don't care what my friend thinks, and I don't care what my neighbors think. Yeah, but this like, is what I want, and this is what I wanted. But if you get like a, a cup of dandelion greens, that's 535 percent of your daily recommended vitamin K, and 112. Listen, you're not listening to me. I don't give a shit about that. You, I don't care about the protein. Or any of that. You can save I money. I don't want dandelions. You don't have period. to. You don't have to go to GNC as often. I don't go to GMC anyway. Do, get rid of these. Do you go to Walgreens? Period. Do you go to Walgreens for your vitamins? No, I don't. And quit asking me questions about other stuff. I point blank. You get rid of these things that you planted. I don't care how you do it. If my lawn turns completely brown. You guys will wish it hadn't because I will be oh, taking no. you to court. It's going to it's gonna turn yellow. Because the dandelions are yellow. You know, up until it's the... It's not going to turn yellow because we're going to kill all those. No, don't kill them. They're, they're good for the earth. It's better for the earth than your dumb old grass. You're going to come out and kill the damn thing. Oh, do you no. understand me? Oh, I wouldn't do that. I love dandelions. I don't give a shit what you love. I don't. You're going to come out and kill all these. Da- I don't want any oh. yellow in my yard. Sir, now that's racist. Did you know up until the 1800s, dandelions were seen as... I ex- don't give a shit about history. Quit talking bullshit to me. I told you what I want. I don't want dandelions. Get rid of them. Period. That's it. Don't but, give me any more bullshit from Okay, me. I was just trying to tell you that back then people would... Get I don't rid- give a shit. They'd, I don't care. They'd remove their care. grass. I don't care. Plant- They'd party like it's seventeen ninety nine. I don't care. I don't want dandelions in my yard. Okay, well, I have good news for you then. This is just a prank call. I'm not really with any lawn company. I don't even live around there. Then why are you calling me? I'm calling from the prank call call center. It's just a, a service we provide. We make prank calls. That's stupid. Well, it's better. At least we didn't plant dandelions in your lawn. What do you get out of this? I mean, do you. Do you... Well, no, it's, it's my job. I work at the prank call call center. Okay, so, why would you. I mean, what do you guys get out of it? You make prank calls, okay? Yeah. You, how do you. Well, it's a, it's a corporate business. It's, it's um, you know, I'm just. I'm in a call center with. About 78 other people, and we're, we just all make prank calls here in our cubicles. So th- that's what, all. I mean, what joy do you get out of that? How does your business survive? Well, it, they don't make any money by making stupid prank calls. It's, it's not a joy, really. It's just my job. It's just what I have to do to make money. I mean, it's how just, does the company survive just making stupid prank calls that I, aren't true? Sir, I'm I'm just I'm just an employee. I don't know how the the whole system works. I'm just just doing my job, meeting my quota. This has gone on long enough. You you should have hung up on me by now. But no, you're, yeah, I should have. Yeah, but your your lawn, it's fine. Like we didn't put anything in your lawn. But have you ever thought about getting just dandelions? Have you have you have you ever? Had a dream. Thought about this is kind of a stupid job, really. What do you do for a I living? Mean, you, you said you make mistakes I, at your I, job I all the time. I own an advertising company that's legitimate. Yeah, and you, I place that. You said you're always making mistakes for customers, and you don't try and talk them into things when you make mistakes that you always make. You said you make mistakes. I don't. All, I don't always make mistakes. I've made a few. When I do, I fix them. Period. No, you, you right said you, you said you make them all the time, like so often that that, like. No, I didn't. 
I heard you. No, I, I make a few mistakes here and there, but as I make them and I find out I've made them, I fix them right away. I'm just saying. I don't let them linger on, and I fix them right then. I think I'm better at my I job. I think I'm better at my job than you are at your job. Okay, good luck. Keep the pranks up. Thank you. <laughs> what a great ending to that call. Keep the pranks up. And I think that guy learned something during that call. Okay, I'm getting a call back. Prank Call Call Center, can I help you? Who is this? Uh, this is Gary. I work here at the Prank Call Call Center. Can I help you? Yeah, Gary. Uh, I just spoke with one of your employees saying that they work for Trugi Kimlon. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's something that they, they do usually um, just on Tuesdays. We have different themes each day of the week. Okay. Well, I'm going to inform True Green that you're using their name, saying that you're an employee of them. Oh, no, an independent uh, contractor. We're very careful about that. We don't say employees. Yeah, an ind- independent contractor, but you're making prank calls for True Green. We, d- we don't want to get sued. No, you, you've got it all wrong, sir. It's, well, it sounds you like, wait and see what happens. You wait and see what happens. Sir, I call them. It, it sounds like you're just looking to make trouble wherever you go. No, no, I don't like prank calls to for, begin with. And I was on the phone for about ten minutes with this guy. I kept trying to talk me into it. I kept telling him no, 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 fix it, and he didn't do it. Finally, he told me he was from the prank call call center. Prank calls are bullshit. I don't appreciate it. And I don't think True Green would appreciate a company like yours calling people saying that they're representing True Green as an independent contractor. Shut up. Hey, we're just providing a service, sir. Like, you don't, you don't need to tell us what how to do our What is your ju- service? To make prank calls and lie to people? Oh, we're not lying to them. It's a prank call. It's all in good fun. All in good fun. Yeah, just get over it. It's just a... Uh, you said ten minute prank call, right? Just, just, you know, go, go. Now you have a story to tell your family. Like, go, go tell them about the crazy does, call does you got. Does it make you feel better to make prank calls to people? What if I called, made a prank call, and said that your mom was just killed in an accident? Is that a good prank call to you? I would be so surprised that she's still alive. Well, I'm just giving an example. But wow! If I said your wife wow, or your what a- sister. Yeah, if I called and made a prank call like that, how uh, would you like it? Calls like that are strictly forbidden here, sir. We follow the rules of prank calling. Uh, we never tell people that their relatives are dead or say anything that would actually upset them. We just tell them. Why do you call and lie to people? Well, we're not lying. It's a prank call, sir. Uh, it's it's it was just some. What do you get out of it though for calling people as a prank? It's just our job. That's what we do here at the prank call call center. Like that's their their corporate. Um, How do they get paid by making stupid prank calls? I mean, there's nobody paying for somebody to make a prank call about their business, sir. That I know of, sir. It's just it was just a silly call about yellow flowers. Just just forget it ever happened. It's it's over. You don't have to deal. Well, of course it's running. It's a refrigerator. Oh, hi, old man Steve here, and have you been watching another quality prank call video by the Bone Losers of America? Remember to subscribe to the Snow Plow Show podcast at snowplowshow.com for weekly shows. And support the Phone Losers on Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. Cactus, cactus anyone?